Hello everyone, and today we're back into another Lumion Legacy PvP video. And today, full team of Rageful Plushies. Every Lumion on this team has a Rageful Plushie. So I'm running a Drudge Rageful Plushie up Sidragon, Clutch Stratosaur, I got Cosmere Crack, I got the Rageful Plushie Pearl Armor set, the Clutch Guard Drone set, the, the Absolute Tech Fishkarna set, and of course the Tank Mutagon set. And we'll see how all of the Rageful Plushie Lumians do today. They're all very bulky and will hit extremely hard. So let's see how all the Rageful Plushie Lumians will do today. Alright, battle number one with all of the Rageful Plushie Lumians. And this team looks very interesting. Yes! Obsidragon. Yes! Obsidragon looks amazing against the whole team. And I'll bring you for the Strata... I'll bring you for the Stratosaur... I'll bring... There's a bunch of melee attackers, so yeah, I'll bring Cloth of Trops. I'm mainly worried about the... this thing. The Tyronics. I'm bringing all my metal types for that thing. <laughs> I have to. You could be good for the Mutagon, but that might be it. Do I have anything for the Ventolin? Yeah, I have pretty much everything for the Ventolin. Sea Drake will be scary, though, so I gotta be very careful against a bunch of his Lumions. I think I'm going to actually lead off with the... I I think... Oh, I don't have any electric moves. Yeah. Oh, no. I have, I have Guard Drone. I'll do this. I'll lead off with Guard Drone and see what they have. Vocalo Elite. Okay. I kind of don't like this. I can't even really hit Vocaloa with you. So I'm just going to swap out. I'm going to swap out into... Maybe Obsidragon is the play. Plus one will outspeed the Vocaloa. So that's the plan here. I might just be able to get the sweep right away on... Oh, he swapped. And the Charonix? Really? I don't have anything for this. Why? Why the Charonix? Oh, no, I do have Colossal Trumps, but... I also get hit by a Frost Beam. So that ain't fun. That's really not fun. Will he predict the Frost Beam? Probably, let's be honest. Hey, he's Tyronix. It's Tyronix, so yeah, it probably will predict the Frost Beam. So yeah, this stinks. That's pretty much two Rageful Plushy Lumians gone. Oh, he swapped again, actually. Wow, we're just endlessly swapping. And there's a Samarine. And I'm basically going to get a Bulk Up Aw. I'm going to get a Bulk Up Aw. Although this is probably a Rageful Plushy Samarine, though. That's the thing. Seal Crusher. Ow. I do get plus two Frail Armor. So that... I should have just went for the Earthquake, honestly. If I went for the Earthquake, I could have just guaranteed taken out the Samarine instead. I don't even know if I... If, yeah, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm screwed, aren't I? I can tell I'm already screwed. I'm not going to outspeed this. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose already. Especially the Tyronix and Samurai on top of that. Oh, plus two does outspeed, but you're Clutch Plushy. You're not Clutch Plushy, so your Samurai's dead. All right, then. All right, then, Colossatrops. Let's do this. All right. All right, we're in business. Sea Drake probably, assumably, outspeeds me. Let's see, though. Nope, I outspeed it. Please, one shot. Yes! Colossatrops putting in some work here. He doesn't want to go in the Vocaloa. He doesn't want to go in the Chiron. If he goes in the Chiron, it's on Timber Thrashing. Venolin. Well, Earthquake coming in hot. Well, an Earthquake's coming in hot. Oh my goodness. I'm honestly shocked I outspeed that Sea Marine at plus two when he was at plus one. That's actually kind of shocking. I have enough for two more moves. It's Chironix and... Vocaloa. Yeah, Vocaloa can beat this, but that's not the end of the world. He's going to go into Tyronix first. Actually, when the Vocaloa first, I might actually be able to hit all my moves. We'll go for the Outburst, because again... Get out of here, Vocaloa. Oh my gosh. Yes, and I have enough for T-Thrash, which means... Plus two T-Thrash. Is plus two T-Thrash enough for Tyronix? Please be enough for Tyronix. I'm going to fall one Lumion short, aren't I? I'm going to fall one Lumion short of a Colossatrop sweep. Oh boy, I'm going to fall one short probably. Watch, Red Hell. Nope! Colossatrop sweep in battle number one. Let's head into battle number two. 
All right, battle number two, and I'm sorry, but in the first battle, I actually forgot to turn on the sound. So I turned it on for this battle, but the Colossotrop sweep in battle number one will be without game sound. So that is very unfortunate, but it's how it goes. There's another Samarine and another Tyranic. So yeah, this is pretty much a very similar team. Colossotrops could sweep again if played correctly. Ah, uh, who else? Fish Karna for the Tyrex. Yeah, you can't hit the Tyrex. I don't think Cosmere is the best option. I actually don't have anything for the Cephalox. And that Cephalox could also be Rachel Plushie. Yeah, that is scary. That's indeed scary. I do have a couple things for the Zulu. No, I don't actually. Wow, I have nothing for Zulong. I legitimately have nothing for Zulong. That is concerning. I'll lead off with Fishkarna then. I'll lead off with the Fishkarna. Zulong lead. Samarine lead. No. Although you have Thunder Chomp. Oh, you're a defensive one. Okay, you're a defensive Samarine. That's fine. You're defensive. Respect. Respectful. I like using the defensive set. So yeah, you're a baffle set. Then. Are you? Ill Will Samarine. I've seen it all. Ill Will Samarine. Highly respectable. Wow, I, that's the last thing I expected. Didn't expect that at all. Unfortunately, this is where the battle gets really rough. I gotta hope I can live a Thunderstrike. I don't think I can though, because I don't have any ranged investment. Barely do. I barely live at Fish Karna. And it's not like I was gonna get complete Lee. Screwed. Okay, I am able to get the hit. And the Zulong is dead. Alright. I was still able to get my hit. I'll take it. The thing that's good about Fish Karna is that I can actually re-gift other abilities back. So that's good. I can use this to re-gift any hazards. Because I don't have any hazard removal. I think the Dibark's gonna outspeed me now because I'm paralyzed. Yeah, that's where the paralyzed hurts. Could have had a potential fish carna sweep. That nope, no fish carna sweep. Instead, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. We'll go up since you're gone. We'll go for the drudge. We'll go for the drudge. You'll hit me with the metal move. I'll be at plus three, and then we might win. Yep, metal move. Thank you. Thanks for the plus three. I might even go for plus four, but not that might be asking a little too much. It's never too much. I mean, that did, like, no damage, and I got a plus one resilience. He also has a Cephalops on his team, so I would rather get to the plus four now. And I have plus two speed, so I guarantee outspeed anything. I outspeed any boots user with him. Now. And he hypnotized me. I should have just clicked Earthquake. And now I'm screwed, because he's going to go into Ceph... Okay, he stayed in. Heavy bash me. He's gonna crit me on one of these, and then I'm gonna not wake up. I think resilience is getting higher up. If only a head body crash, but I don't. Because this is an offensive set. Watch crit. Wake up. Yes, I'm wait I'm awakened now. So, alright, let's win. Let's win the game now. Earthquake, your Dyborg's out of energy. You go down for the rest, and the Drudge of Sidragon's gonna get the sweep now. That's the thing, I think a full team of Rageful Plushie Lumians might be the meta in casual play. Of course you can't do this in competitive play because you can't oh well, because you can't run the same item over and over again. But in casual play Never mind. Let me guess. Let me guess. No, you actually don't! Oh alright, I'm actually kinda shocked that you don't have light speed ray. Okay, you don't have light speed ray. Alright, good. Because now we will guarantee get the sweep. Although Cephalops might live ahead. Although we have Gardrone in the back, so I'm not worried. We have Gardrone in the very back. Yeah, plus four Cephalops. Plus four. Still can't one shot Cephalops. That just shows how bulky Cephalops is. Honestly, Cephalops can be a rageful plushy Lumion too. I'm gonna go into Stratosaur because it's the easiest one to go into. Plus, I have Energy Surge, it's a super effective move, and he's at low health, so... Even though this, I don't really have that much investment in my range attack, I have enough that will get rid of the Cephalops, and that will be battle number two. And that was another very good battle. Let's head into battle number three. 
All right, battle number three, and this is a level 100 battle, and let's see how this goes. A Kazune is not good because it can pivot out of a lot of bad situations. So, that ain't great. By the way, it's the third Tyronix in a row. <laughs> What's with all the Tyronixes today? I've been seeing so many of them. Well, these two are being brought again, even though I haven't got the use y'all yet. Also, there is a Snagoop, although I can bring you for the Snagoop, so we're good. We can bring you for the Snagoop. That's so this thing cannot place Poison Barbs on the field. And the last one, there are so many range attackers that there's basically no point in bringing up Sindragon. You could be good because of priority, but this could all... Yeah, that's the problem. There's so many melee... That's, there's so many ranged attackers. I'll bring you basically for priority, for priority sakes. Ikazune lead? Munch wheelie. I know the one Lumion I really didn't expect to come in. I can go in the Mutagon and quick punch it. It's gonna definitely be... Thing is, this is definitely gonna be a Steel Crusher one. Oh, he swapped. Snagu? Uh oh. I should have frost beam. Oh, alright. Alright, the game has the game's gotten interesting all of a sudden. It's gotten really interesting. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, the game has gotten super interesting all of a sudden. What do I do here? Do I go for a brawn boost? I think I will outspeed Colossal. I do, okay. Good to know I outspeed Colossal. This is gonna do a ton. Actually, that didn't do as much as I thought. I'm actually generally shocked that that definitely wasn't as strong as I thought. Yeah, this is a defensive Mutagon, and that's so I can get the Rageful Plushie thing getting off, but still, it's still kind of crazy. Phage Knock gets rid of my tank, but I could literally care less. Like, look at that. Oh my god, a critical hit. Okay, critical hit. That helps. That helps the odds. I don't think a plus two quick punch is enough, though. But I want to try it. Yep, it lived at no health. And there's the Thunderstrike, but I think I live. I don't live. Rip, I don't live. Oh yeah, I don't live. Okay. I really don't live. I have an idea. I'm going to you. We'll give... Oh, you know, Ikazune comes on. Nope, Ikazune comes on, and we gotta swap out. Back into Cosmere. You're going to go for the Zip Zap into your Ikazune. Because you, I have a lot of electric weaknesses. Okay, no, you just went for Thunderstrike. That's fine. And that did a ton. Yeah, you were often offensive. So they just went into this thing first. But instead, I got to get screwed by RNG at the worst possible time. When he has super annoying Lumions that I still have to deal with. Yeah. Thank you, game. Thank you. And yep, there's Montreal. I, I get my Psycho Boost off, at least. But yeah, I can't use Cosmere anymore, and the rest of my Lumions are weak. That's fun. That's very, very fun. I love it. I love it. I love it. This guy can also get a bulk up and screw me. I'm just gonna go for the fish car and play. If you have Thunder Chomp, which is a coverage move, I can actually get my Rageful Plushie still coming off. But I don't think you are. Yep, you are specialization. And of course, you get the plus one because you gotta have all the RNG. You gotta have all of it. You gotta have all of it. Yeah, all of it. All of the RNG. I, you can't, I can't have anything go right. I can't have anything go right. Oh, Thunderstrike, in case you go into your stupid Ikazune, so I can at least hit the thing. Yeah, Steel Crusher. Yeah, you can't miss a single Steel Crusher. A not very effective move does that much damage. That's fun. I love it. Very fun. I get swept now by an Ikazune, all because I get screwed by RNG at the worst time. Yep, fun. Very fun. I love this game. I love it. I love it. I love RNG. I love it when it comes at the worst possible times. Yeah. What's my last one? Cosmere at no health. Yeah, I gotta go into you. I can at least save the guard drone for later. I have an idea what I could do. I actually just went for the jolt. He has freaking jolt! He has freaking jolt! It's definitely an offensive phage not. Definitely. Has jolt. Has jolt. Has jolt. To be fair, if that's an offensive phage not, it makes sense. But yeah, this is our only way to win now. And he probably has an Ikazune that completely sweeps me. 
We'll go for the Metal Blast, because it uses the least amount of energy. I swear if this Thunderstrike paralyzes, I'm going to lose my crap. It's going to paralyze me! Watch! It's going to paralyze me! There's my Rageful Plushie. Watch, paralyze. Just like my... Nope, okay, I actually don't get paralyzed. Now, does he have a Kazune? If he has a Kazune, it's over no matter what, but... We'll see. He has Colossatrops. The Ludrix outspeeds me. Rip, the Ludrix outspeeds me. Dang it. Yeah, this battle was going nowhere. This battle was going nowhere. After my Cosmere getting paralyzed, that I knew the battle was over. This battle didn't go well, but I don't want to end it on a sour note, so we are going to do one more battle, and who knows? I'll actually go for an Accelerate. Yeah, he's going to get me. He actually went for the Douse, too. Maybe I could have lived that, but nah. That last battle didn't go so well, so we are into the last battle of the video. And man, this is going to be fun. I can tell already that this battle is going to be extremely fun. Look at the Lumians I gotta deal with in this one. Oh my god, and another Zulong, which I can't deal with. Yeah, this battle's going nowhere. Drago Dine is- yeah, Drago Dine as well. Ah, uh, pain. That's what it- that's what this is. It's pain. Just pain. I'll bring you for the hunt. You look good for the hunter, though. If I can get a plus two frail armor boost, I might be able to sweep the whole team. If I can get rid of that Ursul. I gotta get rid of that Ursul, bro. Well, also there's a Buzzlin as well, but Buzzlin can be very scary as well. But our, oh, I want to bring Fishkarna, actually. Over the Gardra. Yeah, over the Gardra. No, I'm going to lead off with you. If he places Poison Barbs, I'm dead. Let off with Ursul, actually. Dang it, why did he lead with Ursul? This hurts so much. Because he can priority me. He can priority me. Although I do go for Metallica Blast, this could work. I actually outsped the Year Soul. Oh dear. Oh dear, this could get ugly. Oh dear, this could get ugly. Oh no! Why now? Actually, no, I have I, I have sick of it. I have to do it. I have to make this play. I don't know why I made that play, but you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna make a quick pivot. Yeah, priority. I could have stayed in. It could have worked. But, okay. Alright. Okay, Primal Slash. Let's just get rid of this Yersoul and forget that it ever existed, okay? It got rid of the Yersoul. Now he's gonna go into Zulong and sweep my team, but okay. We're still alright. He actually didn't even go into Zulong because it's gonna go into this and sweep me. Sweep me off the face of the planet, pretty much. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know what to do. What do I do here? Oh, uh, it's horrible. What do I do? It's just gonna get a free plus two. If I hit it, I can actually go in the guard round. Nah, it's boots. It missed its attack, though. I could have went for a drudge. It did miss its attack. But now we know that this thing does outspeed me, which that is good. I mean, now know that. Problem is, nothing resists Ancient. And I kind of want to save you for the Hunter. Yeah, I no, I have Mutagon and Colossal Trops for the Hunter, so I don't think I've said your gods worth keeping. I got it sweep in battle number two, but I think this is all I'm going to go with it. Plus, the Drago Dine is about to run out of energy. It's not a plus two, though. And I want to save one of my... The, the hardest part is I want to save one of my clutch users, but I'm going to have to save Stratosaur because I can actually hurt the Zulong. If you, on the other hand, I could just go for a... What's the better play? I think Fire Breath? No. Thun yeah, Fire Breath's the better play, I think. He just breaks my clutch. He just goes for the break. I'm just going to get rid of Dragodine because this thing is horrible, and I don't want this thing to just sweep me right off the bat. And now he's going to go into Zulong, which I can go into Stratosaur. Soak the hit and then one shot. That's what I'm gonna have to do here. We'll see what you do next, though. Let's see, what do you do next? You must have brought Zulong. Yep, you brought Zulong. I'm just gonna I have to sack this. Because I want to save Mutagon for the potential Hunter. And Gardrone, while it could be useful, isn't in this situation. So, yep, yeah, I have to say goodbye to the Gardrone. 
problem is that this is so long you just sip sap. I am totally, hopelessly screwed if this Zulong uses Zipsat. Don't use it. He knew the set I was running. He knew exactly what I was doing. Health Amulet, Zulong. Health Amulet, Zulong. And you know what that is specifically for? Freaking Stratosaur! I can't believe it! That stunk. Yep, quite specifically. And yeah, it's gonna live the Mega Punch because we know it will. Uh, I hate that. Yeah, let me guess. He's gonna get the burn as well? Thank gosh, I had something go my way. I actually got rid of the Zulong on a crit, which to be fair didn't matter too much because I did have Quick Punch, but still. There's the Hunter, and this is where the game gets interesting. Watch this be the one clutch plushy Hunter, too. So it's going to you. He's going to predict it. He's going to make the predict when the Claws are drops. The Megatron comes on in. I will live the Megatron really easily. Grail Armor. Rageful plushy boost. Okay, is this enough to win it? Probably not, let's be honest, but let's see. He's probably going to have a Vesperatu I forgot about in the back, honestly. Or this is going to be a Clutch Plushy Hunter. Okay, it's not a Clutch Plushy Hunter. Hunter's dead. Now, what is his last one? I Please don't have priority. Just make me whack it, please. Because I have priority on my Mutagon. C Drake's his last one. I can just outburst you. I can just outburst you. Outburst. That's low enough. Woo! It's low enough. Primal KOs me. Please tell me this is his last Lumia. Please tell me this is his last Lumia. Oh, please, his last Lumia. Please be his last Lumia. Uh, should I Brawn Boost in case it's not? No, because I want to keep my tank. It does say that it is the last Lumia, but it could be Glitch. You never know. Okay, I think it is. All right, GG's. Oh my goodness, that was a close call. We were able to end up with a W in the final battle with the full Rageful Plushy Lumion. So, yeah, that's the whole Rageful Plushy team. And I honestly did pretty well besides that third battle. I think the biggest, yet yeah, the problem is I have so many electric, I have so many electric weaknesses. And it's not the electric weaknesses itself that hurts. It's the Lumions that are in the game. Like, Zulong just destroys my entire team besides Mutagon. And even then, Mutagon can't even live hits that well, neither. And let's not even mention that... Let's not even mention the other battle where I got completely destroyed by a Phage Knot. So, yeah, it's a very, very tough team to use. I probably should have used a Rageful Plushy Lumion that is better against the Electric types. But hey, it happens. The Rageful Plushy team definitely did its work. Hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!